Hey there, you two! Sorry I've been scarce. I've been buried in marketing and preparing the film for release ever since we wrapped post-production. The award ceremony is today, right? Paimon wonders if we'll win the Farina Award. I'd give it a 90% chance. Farina! Oh, Paimon didn't know you were already here. You're earlier than everyone else. I'm sure the others will also be here in no time. Uh... Xavier, if we end up getting called on stage, shouldn't you come up with a name for our crew? What? Uh, but we don't even know if we're going to win. I wouldn't want to jinx our chances by celebrating early. <laughs> Just open your eyes! Surely you've seen the audience's reactions to our film. We've had nothing but critical acclaim. You've also had conversations with the Opera House's operating staff, right? Didn't they want to increase the number of showings? With the Mora you've made from the box office, you can now open your very own film company! But that's all credit to my amazing crew! You've all helped to make this a reality, so I can't be the only one asked to come up with a name. Well, give it some thought. I'm sure the crew will respect your choice. All right, but before that, Traveler and Paimon, could I trouble you to quickly pay a visit to the Fortress of Meripede? Huh? But shouldn't we stay for the award ceremony? I wanted to ask you two to invite Shavras to join us at the ceremony. She's one of the lead roles, after all. I haven't been able to find her recently, so I haven't had the chance to invite her personally. According to the papers, the culprits of the musket murder case will be personally escorted today by the captain of the special patrol to the Fortress of Meripede. Oh, Paimon gets it now. Yep, just wait here, Xavier, and maybe try to come up with a few snappy-sounding names. All right, then I'll leave you to it. Will we really win an award? Trust me. When have I ever been wrong about something like this? This is as far as I'll be taking them. I'll leave the three of them to you now. Got another errand to run? Something like that? I'm expected at a party. Now that's something you don't hear every day. Found a new pastime? No, it's just a special occasion. Festivals really do bring people together. It's been a while since I last had so many visitors at the Fortress of Meripede. Call it the festival spirit, I guess. Yeah, you could say that. Even our head nurse has gotten herself all worked up preparing super deluxe nutritious shakes. Just one gulp and you'll have met all your nutrition needs. Were you talking about work just now? We've already finished discussing everything. So? What do you think about my heads up, Mr. Risley? Hmm. I believe I haven't yet made any promises or guarantees. But you also didn't shoot me down. Here, how about this? You could give everyone a copy of the newspaper. Perhaps on the day when the cover story happens to, oh, I don't know, expose a certain someone's misdeeds from 20 years ago? Hmm. I suppose, then, a certain someone may soon find himself the most unlucky person in the Fortress of Meripede? While another two people will soon be hailed as heroes. Speaking of heroes, did you two need something from me? Oh, uh, actually, we're here for- You're here to invite me to the party, right? Don't worry, I didn't forget. And the same to you. Please, go and enjoy the festival. And the winner of the Farina Award for the first Fontanalia Film Festival is... The Two Musketeers! Congratulations, Mr. Xavier. We won? Uh, uh, 
I can't believe it! I, I really can't thank all of you enough! See? My takes on Fontaine's entertainment industry have never been wrong. Now, please welcome to the stage the producer of The Two Musketeers, Mr. Xavier! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you all so much for your recognition and support. While I'm up here, I would love to give special thanks to... Time really flies, huh? It certainly feels that way. It feels like it was only yesterday when you were teaching me to hold a musket. Will you come back to Fontaine again? Of course! I'm very fond of this city. There are so many novel and interesting things that it's been hard to keep track of them all. But how about you? Would you be interested in visiting Inazuma? I can't say the thought has crossed my mind before, but I'd be willing to consider it now. I will be eagerly awaiting your visit. It would be wonderful if you could visit my home and enjoy a taste of our tea and desserts. Yeah, let's keep in touch. Did you accomplish all you came here for? Yes. And you should visit Inazuma again sometime. How has Ogura and her business been? To my knowledge, she's doing quite well. Tell her I said hi. I certainly will. I heard the thunderstorm has stopped. Yes, and the war has also been brought to an end. Peace and prosperity has returned to the islands. I quite like the sound of that. Perfect for hanging textiles out to dry. I'd like to offer my thanks again to the entire cast and crew. Without you, I would have never completed this film, much less had the opportunity to be standing on this stage. With the support of my entire crew, I would like to officially announce our film company, Musketeer Pictures! Woohoo! That has a really nice ring to it! Then in that case, let's please welcome all the members of Musketeer Pictures onto the stage for a commemorative photo! Oh, Paimon didn't know we'd also be taking pictures! Director Farina, I believe you are the most deserving person to raise this trophy! No need. It's so embarrassing. It's an honor the director deserves. Yes, I agree. Just accept that you're not getting out of this. Ready, everyone? Three, two, one! Musketeer, Musketeer pictures! pictures! Lady Farina, please allow me to take just one more photo of you. I would also love to get your autograph, just as a memento of our time together on the crew. Hey, I've had enough of the camera flashes from when we were all up on stage. But, but, Lady Farina, you are the best director I've ever met! The most photogenic maiden in all of Fontaine! This kind of lively and celebratory setting is exactly where you shine. I believe all photographers would agree. Come, the brightest star of our land! Show us your light! The camera is waiting to sing praises of your beauty! Well, I'm flattered, but, uh, but... <sighs> Alright, I'll humor you and try a few more different poses. But I don't have to hold the trophy, right? Uh, of course. You may pose however you like. 
thank you so much. Thank you so much. By the heavens, my luck has been beyond belief. I'm having a hard time coming to terms with it now. Oh. Enjoy the Botanalia Festival. Miss Yoimiya, we haven't had the chance to talk, but please accept my thanks for everything you've done over the past few days. Oh? But I feel like I didn't do anything out of the ordinary. I'm very grateful for your assistance during that special performance in the warehouse. It was always going to be somewhat risky, to engage and draw away Morris all on your own. You're only a civilian and have never been trained to act in such a dangerous situation. Don't say it like that. As the director's assistant, it was my duty to help out the crew however I could. It was an honor to help you solve the case. I have to admit, though, my heart was thumping super hard the entire time it was laying on the ground. Oh, I was scared that everyone would notice. <laughs> you did great. Oh, and before I forget, if you ever visit Inazuma, please come and pay a visit to Naganahara Fireworks. I'll make some fireworks for you. I even know what shape we'd make. I'm guessing... a musket. <laughs> Telling you now would ruin the surprise. If you really want to see it, just come and visit me. Huh, it's you. Is there something I can help you with? Interested in our couture services? Just give me the word. Thanks to you, we were also able to premiere the film in time. Its success has increased the reach of my brand. There's no need to be humble. You helped Xavier and Chavras, and even Kirara's told me many good things about you. They are all my friends. You've done far more than what you give yourself credit for. I am merely a fashion designer. I don't have anything else I moonlight as. But when you run a business, it's inevitable that as you make more friends, you'll also encounter all sorts of thorny issues. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. It's just the common sense of business. Xavier is over the moon now that he's actually won the Farina Award. Maybe I'll actually find him in the fountain the next time I see him. The demand for couture at my boutique has also increased. So much so that I don't have enough staff to handle it. Looks like I'm one step closer to achieving my dream. Anyway, you will always be welcome at Chioria Boutique. I would love to see you both again at the upcoming Fontaine Fashion Week as well. Okay, see you around. Oh, I didn't expect to meet you here. I've been told that this is a beverage called Fanta. I quite like its unique taste. The slogan, a font of refreshment, is rather catchy as well. I'm starting to wonder if I could incorporate it into our cultural exchange initiative. What would happen if we were to add some sprigs of mint into Fanta? I believe this is an idea worth testing. Or perhaps we could even take it one step further and mix in an equal amount of milk tea medley. <laughs> but for some reason, I suspect that experiment wouldn't turn out well. Thanks to you, the film was successfully completed and the Yashiro Commission secured a collaboration project with the Palais Mermonia. If another opportunity was to arise in the future, perhaps I should take on the chance to act as the protagonist. Or, perhaps, you think the role of villain would fit me better. Thank you for the well wishes. I will take good care of Ayaka and Yoimiya. I would like to wish you safe travels on your next journey as well. I'm so glad we were able to complete the film. Thanks for taking care of me while I was here. Really? Thank you. At first, I simply tried to work hard out of a desire to not become a burden to the crew. It would have been so embarrassing if the filming had to stop to accommodate my lack of skills. But Director Farina was both patient and knowledgeable. And Shavras and Elaine taught me a lot about the scenes and details. 
It was all thanks to their help that I was able to grow comfortable with the role. And even with all of that said, I still... got a little flustered with praise. Especially since everyone, including you, were complimenting me at the end. Yes, I visited many places with Yoimiya in between the filming sessions. The elegant streets, the beautiful flowers and greenery, and the dreamlike underwater world. Everything I saw will shine like stars in my memories. It also brings me joy to think that perhaps you've marveled at those exact wonders as well. <sighs> it's nothing at all. I don't often have the opportunity to wander out into the world like this. Not only did I make many new friends during this trip, I also picked up many new skills from everyone around me. I will cherish this experience greatly. Oh, and I'm also going to bring some conch lens back to the Yashiro Commission as a gift. If we could enjoy them with some coffee... <laughs> Perhaps it'll feel as if I'd never left Fontaine at all. Mm -hmm. Thank you for looking out for me. Please do take care of yourself during your adventures as well. If the stars align, we'll see each other in Inazuma again.